when I got the central, I did what a lot of kids do, a lot of PKs do. Forget church, I'm not going, I went all my life, I'm done, I'm tired. So, after high school, you went on to North Carolina Central University, <laughs> where you majored in music? Yes. So what all were you involved with at Central? So at Central, I um, started out as a history major, psychology, and couldn't run from music. I wanted to do music so bad. Auditioned through piano and got into the department through piano. From there, I went to voice. Auditioned for the drum line in the band and actually made it. I was hyped up. And at the end of the summer camp, my voice teacher was like, oh, you think you're going to march, huh? Yeah, that didn't happen. So um, <laughs> <laughs> I never got a chance to march. However, the experience of just being in band camp was awesome for me. Um, so I pretty much graduated from Central with that music degree. But I also pledged Zeta Phi Beta at Central. Also pledged um, Zakaro founding line and um, can't forget my choir family, which held me down every year. Okay, so while studying at Central, you began attending Nehemiah Christian Center. Yes. And you now consider that your church home. So describe your spiritual growth at Nehemiah and what about it made it home to you? Well, um, first of all, going to church with my parents was just going to church with my parents. I participated because they were my parents. Um, and I just wanted to help them out. Or well, I did it because I was just told to. When I got to Central, I did what a lot of kids do, a lot of PKs do, forget church. I'm not going, I went all my life, I'm done, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm not doing this, I can sleep in and nobody can stop me. <laughs> um, but going to um, Nehemiah, a very, he was, a, um, Pastor Davis was a very young pastor coming out of Duke University and coming from Michigan, him and his wife, uh, First Lady Saina Davis. And they had a heart for the community. They ha had a heart for the college students. And everyone in that building at the time was a college student. It wasn't about money. It wasn't about show. It wasn't about what can you bring. It was just about you as a person. And uh, the first service I ever went to, we were in the Durham Armory downstairs. And to see him having to haul his equipment up and down the stairs and not rely on anyone else, I was like, yo, this, this man is about business, you know? And then from there to see him go from the armory to a building and to see him grow, it actually helped me grow. Because he put out effort, it made me put out effort. So I got to the place where um, everyone around me was joining I think, I feel like I was the only one that didn't join, but I had been going there for years. So when I finally joined, I remember him saying, about time, <laughs> like, <laughs> like you're not a visitor anymore. Um, but the growth was like a family growth. Um, he worked with you where you were spiritually. There was no pressure. The teaching was sound. The teaching was clear. The teaching was researched. The teaching was taught in such a way that you could take it home, you could take it to the marketplace, you could take it to work, you can take it wherever and use the teaching. You know, it wasn't anything to be ashamed about. 